And Flynn Flan. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez. We turn now to a major victory in the fight for media democratization. In response to a 15-year campaign, the Federal Communications Commission has opened the application process for thousands of new non-commercial FM radio licenses, including licenses in urban areas. This means nonprofits, labor unions and community groups have a one-time only chance this year to own a bit of the broadcast airwaves. It's being heralded as, quote, the largest expansion of community radio in United States history. The FCC's application window will run from October 15th. Uh, to October 29th. The Philadelphia-based nonprofit Prometheus Radio Project has led the 15-year campaign to challenge corporate control of the media and open up the space on the dial. In this video, the group explains the power of community media. This clip uh, features uh, Cam Nguyen, the Vietnamese American Young Leaders Association, then Ashley Henderson of Concerned Citizens for Justice and Emery Wright of Project South. When we don't have the media, and or the media is controlled by another group that doesn't have our side of the story, our perspective, our community interest, and other people hear from them, and we have nothing to combat that. We have, we don't have our own radio station, our, our newspaper, to put our truths out there, our version, our perspective out there. Then, in a way, they control the battle. We have to fight for those spaces, like we. We as social justice movement builders need to really own spaces um, and be able to control narratives um, because we believe that like the people know how to tell their own stories and they know the solutions to their own problems. How do we get accurate information to our folks? You know, how do we have authentic conversations across borders and boundaries that divide us? For more, we're joined by Jeff Rousset, national organizer of the Prometheus Radio Project, and Ramon Ramirez. He's the president of PECUN, the largest Latino organization in Oregon. In 2006, Prometheus Radio Project helped the organization establish a low-power FM station called Movement Radio, with the slogan, The Voice of the People. They've used the station to inform farm workers about labor rights, as well as the larger Latino community, about immigration reform efforts, health issues, and other community-related topics. We welcome you both to Democracy Now! So, Jeff, let's start off with what this window is in October. Sure. Thank you, Amy. This is a historic opportunity for communities all over the country to have a voice over their airwaves. The airwaves are supposed to belong to the public, uh, and now this is a chance for groups to actually own and control their own media outlets all over the country. As you said, this is the culmination of a 15-year organizing campaign. And so what the FCC did this week is they launched the application process for nonprofit organizations, labor unions, schools, Native American tribes, and community groups to actually apply for a slice of the airwaves in their communities locally. It's the biggest chance in decades for communities of color, women, uh, workers, immigrants, environmentalists, veterans, other communities who have been systematically ignored or marginalized by the mainstream media to own and control their own media outlets across the country and use it to share local news and to provide a platform for local artists on the air. Now, what's made it possible now to do this? Obviously, is it is the changes in terms of uh, digital broadcasting that, that makes it more possible to avoid interference? Or what, what precisely has uh, made this happen now? So the, the, there's always been this opportunity, but big broadcasters fought for more than a decade to keep radio in the hands of a few big corporations. However, a grassroots movement over the last 15 years has been fighting to open up this space on the dial. So you know when you're uh, flipping through the radio dial between commercials and you hear static, we're actually squeezing small... Uh, local people-powered radio stations into the radio dial in those places. So we're going to turn that static into sound and use that to amplify people's voices all over the country. Ramon Ramirez, what does this mean for you? This is an important victory. We were part of the struggle to convince our, our, our Congress um, to uh, open up the, the, the airwaves uh, to community organizations and, and labor unions and immigrant rights groups so that groups can use it as an organizing tool. In Radio Movimiento La Voz del Pueblo, which is the, uh, our radio station that was uh, developed with the help of the Prometheus Radio Project, we've been able to use it as an organizing tool, not only to organize farm workers, we are the farm worker union of Oregon, 
but also to provide information and give people that never had a voice. For example, we're uh, broadcasting in four indigenous languages uh, from Mexico and Central America, and we're giving those folks a voice in the community that they never had. So the idea that we could expand that, this, this radio or this medium to uh, hundreds of community organizations and unions and, and immigrant rights groups throughout the country is just uh, a wonderful victory for us. And we want to be part of that. We want to share our experiences and our victories and also our successes uh, to help other groups. Uh, because I, I'll tell you that the, um, having your own, controlling your own media outlet is, is awesome. It's a powerful tool. It's not only about putting information out and using it as an organizing tool, but it's also about building leadership capacity in your community. Because these folks learn how to how to program. They know how to put together. Um, uh, they research. Uh, they're not only um, uh, programmers, but they're also getting their communities involved, and they're providing information, valuable information, on, on a number of topics on that uh, of that particular community. This is a really important victory. And, and Jeff, for people who are out there listening in the various uh, cities and communities around the country who maybe never been involved with a radio station, how would they take advantage of this? What kind of uh, uh, assistance does Prometheus provide them? Because there's actually financial considerations, application procedures, uh, mm -hmm. technical training you must have. Sure. So most of the groups that we're working with actually don't have experience uh, using radio, producing radio. That's what we're here for. We're really here to help groups not only to navigate the FCC process, process, but also to, to develop the kinds of skills and trainings and connect people and resources so that groups can can actually get on the air and be successful and build these successful radio stations. And how do they find stations. if there's a space on the dial in their city, where they are, in their community? Sure. So, so we're encouraging folks to go to our website, go to prometheusradio.org, and sign up with us if you're interested. This is a one-shot opportunity. And the work that we do over the next four months will really help shape and determine the course of the media landscape in this country for the next 40 years. And we've got lots of tools developed. We built a, a, a site called radiospark.org, where you can actually put in your zip code and see what's, what frequencies are available. 100 point three, 103.5. This is all up and down the FM dial. Are available across the country? More than a thousand. And for the mm -hmm. first time ever, they're available in, in most of the biggest cities in the country. So in a place like Chicago, Los Angeles, Miami, one of these stations will be able to reach over a hundred thousand local listeners plus stream online. So it's a very powerful tool, but this is a one shot opportunity. So we want folks to get involved. And, and you can sign up with us if you want to start a station yourself or if you want to support others to expand independent media. Of course, many of the low Power FM stations on the air today broadcast democracy now, and this is a, this is a platform to keep producing local coverage, local news, and also to open up space uh, for more outlets like Democracy Now, for more Amy's and Wands to pop up all over the country, get that kind of training and, and really transform the media. But it's a one-time chance. And Ramon, quickly, the impact that this has had on, on your organizing in Oregon? Well, we've been able to use it as a, as a mobilizing tool. You know, Oregon just recently, for example, uh, was one of those states that reinstated driver's license for undocumented workers in, in the state of Oregon. Major, major victory. How did we do that? Well, part of it, was the radio had to do with it. We mobilized uh, uh, thousands of people, and we asked the people in, in our rallies who attended uh, committee hearings, how did you hear about this Radio Movimiento? That's how we. That's how we got here. So it's a powerful tool. Uh, it's it's benefited us, and we want to be able to share that with other community organizations. Because prior to us having this radio, we didn't know anything. We have to leave it there, but we'll certainly continue to follow this issue. Jeff Rousset with Prometheus Radio Project, Ramon Ramirez with Pecun, the largest Latino organization in Oregon that does it for our broadcast.